teachers and students, this is Sue from the Ohio Energy Project. Thank you for participating in the MacGyver Windlift Challenge. In this video, we're going to talk through all the different supplies that every student will need to build their windlift. And then we're going to actually build one and we'll do some tips and tricks for the building process. So as we're gonna get started, in your kit, you will have received enough supplies for 50 students to have participated in the challenge. It would be helpful if you did a little pre-cutting. So the pool noodle, you'll want to cut into one inch segments. This works best using a serrated or a bread knife. Also, you're going to want to pre-cut your string into 60 centimeter lengths or 0.6 meters if you decide that you're gonna do the calculations at the end. Also, every student will need a dowel rod and a straw. This becomes the drive train. You're also gonna receive three packs of 100 bamboo sticks. These will be part of the blade. They come in packs of 100. You've got three different lengths. However, they are easy to cut with a pair of scissors if you want to change the length of them. To complete your student kit is a cup and a spool. All right, for the things that aren't included in your kit, you will need some supplies to build your wind turbine blades. This could be samples of cardstock, cardboard, plastic bottles from your recycling container, let your students be creative with what they decide to use for their blade building materials. You'll also need some scissors, a hole punch, tape, also need a box fan, and we'll get to that part as we're testing our MacGyver wind lift. Welcome back. I've invited my favorite fourth grader, Joel. He is a fourth grade student in Westerville. He is going to help with demonstrating the building. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the dowel and you're going to stick it in the middle of your pool noodle section. So it's going to look like this. Now you might want to add a little bit of glue around the center just to keep the dowel from moving inside. All right, so the next thing that you're gonna do after you do that is you're gonna put you're, you're gonna put your drive train together. So your your straw is going to go on the end. And then to hold that in place, you're gonna take your wooden spool, and that should just fit real tightly right on the end right there. Right, all right. Now with your cup you're just going to tie around the edge. Like that. And then you're going to tie the other end around the spool. You get that on there. You're going to want to take a piece of tape and just tape that in place so that once we begin our test, it's not spinning around. All right, this is where Joel gets to work. And this is where you'll introduce the engineering design process. Joel has to decide how many blades he's going to have, what shape they're going to be, and what material that they're going to ma be made out of. So we're gonna take a little pause while he works on that, and then we'll come back and we'll do the testing. about your blade design. I chose six wings and this design to capture the wind more. All right, so before we test it, I'm gonna show you one more time the setup. So you've got your blades in the hub, you've got your drivetrain, and then your lift. I'm gonna talk a little bit about setup. So if you've got your fan, you can use a fan like this or a box fan, whatever works. 
but you want to make sure that uh, there's plenty of room so that the cup is not dragging on the floor when you start. So you might need to either set it on a table or set it on some books. You also want to have a, a marker so that every student is testing their lift at the exact same distance. So our marker is going to be the edge of the table. If you're using, if you don't have a table, you could just put a piece of tape on the floor so the students where, you know where to match their hub up. Also, when I turn the fan on, Joel is going to want to hold his wind lift at about the same height as the fan. All right, so we're going to try this first one with no weight in the, uh, in the cup. All right, so here's trial one with no weight in the cup. All right, now you'll see in a minute, once we add some pennies, you're gonna want to tell your students when the cup gets close to the top, they wanna either catch it or really keep an eye on who's ever running the fan. Otherwise, you're gonna have pennies all over the floor. So let's do trial two. We're gonna add 10 pennies to the cup this time. All right, we're gonna turn it on. The other thing you wanna keep the same um, as a control is the speed of the fan. So you might want to run a couple trials uh, prior to um, having your students test it and just know what fan speed is the best. We're using with this fan, we're using it on medium. So here's trial number two with 10 pennies. All right, easily lifted 10 pennies. All right, we're not going to count these. I'm just going to add some more but we probably got about 25 in there. If you were doing this with your students, you would probably add in five to 10 penny increments. All right, here we go, third trial. All right, great job, Joel. You had a super successful wind turbine. Now teachers, we ran all three trials with the same design. If we were gonna take a little bit more time for this video, I would have Joel make some changes to his uh, MacGyver wind lift. He could change the number of blades, he could change the pitch of the blades, and by that I just mean turning the angle of the, how the blade is stuck into the hub. For that reason, you wanna make sure that you're not gluing the bamboo sticks into the hub like we did the dowel. We wanna make sure that we can change those with that. So students would run their first trial, make a hypothesis on what some things are that they could do to improve their wind lift, and then run the second trial. Thanks for participating in the MacGyver Wind Lift Challenge. We look forward to seeing your entries into the online portal. Directions for that are on our website. Thanks for participating. Good job, Joel.